to 29 percent. And I'll do one more, the direction of the country, headed in the right direction versus off on the wrong track. Uh, big, big uh, jump there. Ben. Yeah, I mean, it was certainly a year where you saw the power of American government and mm -hmm. any sense, in a sense that the American government could get stuff done, could con had any control at all of events overseas or here. Really challenged. I mean, if, when, if that's the perspective, not a great year. What's driving the dysfunction? You know, I think people uh, are. I, I think people's distrust goes beyond uh, beyond government. I think people are distrustful of one another. Uh, I think uh, people don't. Uh, many Americans feel that uh, that things just aren't working. That institutions don't deliver for them. Uh, that they. Uh, there was one of the polls that I cited in the story. Uh, says that people uh, feel that the that leaders in Washington just don't care about what happens to them and that the I think that was 85 percent of people said that I'd say that uh, Steve the one of the sort of nails in this was uh, Obamacare and I know it's very hard to launch a website no website launches perfectly having said that in terms of really trying to sort of get people behind something, you lose trust when you can't get online. Well, and unfortunately, as we know, it was more than the website. It was also the trust in, in what the I president know. and the other leaders said people about how this, to work. how this was going to work and yeah. what was going to happen to people. But uh, And not to harp on poor Congress, but when you look at, I was looking yesterday at a poll on uh, approval ratings for a whole series of institutions, schools, police, uh, big business, banks, all the stuff. And as you know, Congress is dead last I mean, below all of them. And so I do think while there, whether it's Lance Armstrong, whether it's the Obamacare thing, lots of things to point to, if things on Capitol Hill started to function again in a way where people could say stuff's getting done and they're actually addressing the nation's problem. I think it might make a big difference in the, the kinds of things you're talking about. And I think even even now as the year ends, in some way people are, are feeling a little bit of that. I've had some conversations over the past week and people are saying, look, you know, that, that you know, there, there's a sign that something's happening in Washington and, 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 and even just that little bit of functionality makes people feel better, that, that perhaps there is a, a way to, round to, get, to get around this sharp end. Maybe there is. We're two weeks, what, from 2014? That's the bright side, I guess, right? <laughs> Adam Geller, thank you so much. Coming up, one of the Senate's top-ranking Democrats, New York's Chuck Schumer, joins the conversation.